Hi folks, I'm Raz and in today's video I'm going to share with you an ALS essay writing topic for both academic and general. Well, the answers shared in all my videos are purely written by me which is published in the book and is readily available at the bookstores, so grab your copy today. All right, let's take a look at the task two essay writing, 40 minutes you should be spending and you need to write for 250 to 280 words. So folks, always remember that the moment you read the question, you should be able to identify what is an essay type. So there are five different essay types. The first is a problem solution, opinion, agree, disagree, advantage, disadvantage, and two part question. So in this video, I'm going to discuss with you the problem solution essay type. All right, let's take a look at the task assessment, which is 25% each for task achievement, which means that you should be writing what is asked in the question, coherence and cohesion, which is another 25% you should be spending in making your ideas logically and putting it in structured paragraphs and use standard expressions and transition words. Lexical resource is another 25%, which is your wide range of vocabulary and check your spellings. Grammar range and accuracy is another 25%. So make sure you use different kinds of sentences ranging from simple, compound and complex. All right, moving on to the general topics now. So there are different topics and the uh, points on basis of which the essay is supported. It can vary from education, youth, parenting, environment, sports, economy and health. Now, how to utilize your 40 minutes effectively? So friends, always remember the word power. P is for pre-analysis, means you should spend first three to five minutes in making your notes and points. O is organization. Once you have made enough points, make sure you prioritize it. W is writing. Spend approximately 30 minutes. After you're done with the writing, make sure you spend three to five minutes again in your editing and check that you're not repeating the words using effective synonyms, check your spellings, grammar, and do the final review. All right, let's take a look at the problem solution essay type format. All in all, you should be making four to five paragraphs. The first paragraph is an introduction. The second paragraph is when you discuss the problems, list down the different points and make sure you support your points with relevant examples. Paragraph three is suggest possible solutions and support it with relevant examples and do the final conclusion. All right, so let's take a look at the question. Overpopulation of urban areas has led to numerous problems. Identify one or two serious ones and suggest ways that governments and individuals can tackle these problems. Give reasons for your answer and include any relevant examples from your own knowledge or experience. So let's take a look at the sample answer. Paragraph one, overpopulation in cities and urban areas is a growing concern that governments and individuals have to take into account seriously. They should work together to mitigate the inconveniences caused by it. This essay will examine further the main issues and challenges caused by overcrowding and discuss relevant solutions. Now in paragraph two, we'll talk about the problems. First of all, we can truly affirm that the first result of overpopulation in towns is without any doubts, congestion and traffic jams, which has led to serious pollution hazards. Another threat due to overcrowding is garbage thrown by inhabitants in a pathetic way. Many cities do not have the means to handle the charge of debris or rubbish casting away by its inhabitants, which lead to unclean cities. Paragraph 2 is an extension moving further. The lack of decent accommodation is also a growing perplexity that cities must deal with. Maximum populace is unable to find an ideal place to live in, which is, however, a step back for cities' development. What is more, individuals 
should not only use public transports as often as they can rather than using their own car, but also the government should build and improvise roadworks to further address this issue. To handle the garbage flowing in streets, they should sort out rubbish that they throw away. For accommodation issues, the middle class populace should establish the sharing flat system and encourage it widely. Paragraph 3, on its own side, governments need to set a vehicle task tax for car owners and should utilize the revenue towards maintaining public transport across the country. For a cleaner city, they should create advertisements in order to educate its people about varied ways of handling debris. Moreover, Authority should initiate some amount of fine who gets spotted for throwing a paper, rubbish or dust in the street. Finally, to overcome the accommodation challenges, governments should build more infrastructures for people in need. And the last paragraph is the conclusion. To sum up, it is evident that these concerns are worrying and further growing and multiplying. Yet if everyone becomes more responsive towards their duties and provides support to make it better, it is assertive that these issues could be resolved. So thank you friends for watching this video and keep watching more IELTS essay writing videos and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.